Hello and welcome to my next class. Students, today I have come up with a very important writer that is John Dryden who have that intellectual qualities and in the restoration age he was called as the, uh, the, uh, the sorry, the restoration age was called the uh, age of Dryden uh, because of uh, his intellectual qualities and uh, he was the one uh, who was the greatest satirist of all uh, if you see in the restoration age so we'll discuss all about john dryden he being the greatest satirist so we'll uh, talk about his works his satires his poems and all important points about john dryden so before we begin with our class and uh, I will let you know about John Dryden. Before that, I request you all to subscribe my channel and please share with all of your friends. Okay, let's begin. Now, a brief note on Dryden. The age of Dry, uh, John Dryden was full of intellectual qualities. When we talk about the age of Dryden, it contains different qualities and it contained, it was just full of intellectual qualities. That means in, intellectual people were present in this age. Now, in the restoration age, Dryden was the greatest satirist. As I said, please don't forget that this restoration was also called the age of Dryden as Dryden was the greatest satirist of all. He paved the way for other satirical writers like Alexander Pope uh, as we all know that Alexander Pope came later. That is, uh, he came in the 18th century and he was uh, uh, highly influenced by Dry uh, Dryden's satires. So, Dryden was the one who paved the way for other satirical writers. Now, when we see uh, his satirical works, they are as follows, like Absalom and Echitofel, The Medal and Mac, Mac Fleckney. Now, the very first work of Dryden, but before that, when we talk about the satirical work, Absalom and Echitofel was one of the great works by John Dryden. Please remember it. So, the very first poem that we were talking uh, of, of Dryden was Religio Lacy. And that was published in 1682. Now, what it was about? It carried the political meaning. That means a political satire but a religious one so it carried a political meaning with a defense of church of england and this defense was against whom the dissenters of the day dissenters konote the officials that have a several disagreement with each other so it was against them so with a defense of church of england and it was against the dissenters of the day i hope it is clear we just are here to know about his first uh, work that is Religio Lacy and when it was published 1682. A brief note about it, right? Other poems that we have to go in detail will let you know in further presentation. Now the second religious work was the Hind and the Panther. Now you have to Hind hai, wo kisko represent kar hai, wo kiske liye stand kar hai, and jo Panther hai, wo kisko represent kar hai or stand kar raha hai. So the Hind represents Roman Catholic Church and the Panther represents the Church of England. This poem is about, uh, it was designed as an effort to draw the churches together. Uh, they wanted their reunion. ठीक है कि जैसे पहले था लाइक uh, like, uh, जैसे फॉर्मर पोजीशन पहले से थी वैसे ही इनका रीयूनियन हो जाए एंड सो हियर द हिंद रिप्रेजेंट्स रोमन कैथोलिक चर्च एंड द पैंथर रिप्रेजेंट्स द चर्च ऑफ इंग्लैंड सो नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एब्सलम एंड एजिटोफल बट बिफोर दैट प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट दोस टू वर्क्स that is religio lacy and the hind and the panther they were religious work and the hind and the panther uh, is an allegorical piece of work now absalom and echitofel and mac fleckney will talk in detail about them because these are very important from the point of net examination and other examinations too now 
very first thing that we need to know about Absalom and Ajitophel, let's see uh, the characters at the glance. David represents here as King Charles II of England, James Scott, Duke of Monmouth and his brother of David that is King, uh, King's brother James Scott, Absalom, David's illegitimate son, Achitophel, Anthony Ashley Copper, first Earl of Shaftesbury. Now, the very first thing that we need to know about Absalom and Achitophel that it was a political satire, right? With a mock heroic form. Now, you must be thinking that what do you mean by mock heroic form? So, mock heroic poem depicts character and situation in exalted and pretended seriousness with the sole purpose of criticizing and ridiculing them. That means it shows character and situations in a high position, in the exalted position and pretends or uh, you know that uh, the behavior that's going on, they pretend that is serious. But their sole purpose of doing so is to criticize and to make fun of them, right? So this is mock heroic form, to mock at something or to make fun of something, right? Now, uh, the very first thing uh, that I should tell you that H.G. E. Uh, he was the first Earl of Shaftesbury and H.G. E. Toffel was the counselor of King Charles II, that is David. Please don't forget this, but as H. E. De Toffel was very ambitious and he wanted to achieve higher position, so he started flattering Absalom and uh, he started telling him that his father is now the uh, his uh, his father is now weak and he's not good enough to be a king. Uh, then Absalom uh, he said no, he defends his father and he says that no, he's a good king and he's uh, very kind also, and so. Uh, he 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 wouldn't uh, he sh he is not going to go against uh, his father but later absalom was convinced by H. E. Toffel and becomes a tool for him why absalom was equally ambitious and uh, though he never wanted to go against his father but later in this poem we see that he uh, rebelled against his father and he stood for James that is his brother and Duke of Monmouth. Now uh, when we talk about Edgy Toffel he was the real evil of this poem you can say or uh, you can say the one who uh, what we say in um, uh, jo backstab karta hai. So he was the one uh, who made a plan and did everything and he convinced Absalom, right? Now the poem ends with King David's speech. Now when we see this poem in more sense, then let's see uh, about Absalom and Echi Toffel. There were few points that we need to know about. That Absalom and Echi Toffel, it was a heroic poem. Dryden takes up the story of exalted, that means uh, people of higher rank or position, personalities of ancient time, and he applies it to contemporaries. But the focus is not on the story. The main purpose was to describe the characters with the sole intention of debunking their characters. So here Dryden However, depicts Charles II and the Duke of Monmouth with considerable sympathy. The poem has a human element which will not be found in the pure mock heroic poem. Absalom and H.E. Toffel is in this way a successful and a unique achievement. Even if we forget all about the original H.E. Toffel as well as Shaftesbury, the characters exalted by Dryden will always interest as human types as products of art means overall this particular political satire by Dryden was very interesting jo yahan pe human element present hai jo uh, there, there, there are different characters by Dryden they are really very interesting that 
takes the attention of that takes the attention of reader and it makes it interesting so please remember a few points that it is a political satire and uh, with a mock heroic form and its characters yaad rakhiyega absalom kaun tha and uh, who was king uh, david kaun tha kaun, kisko represent kar raha hai king charles 2 of england so i have told uh, point by uh, point which are important so please when we go through literature we should know the deep knowledge of it literature is uh, you can say a pure and uh, deep reading of something poetry it is prose or drama or whether it is a story just go deep into it and you will love literature so moving on with mac flakney It is a personal and literary satire where Dryden has treated Thomas Shadwell with humorous contempt. <clears throat> Now, when we talk about Mac Flecknay, uh, first let me tell you the story why um, Dryden has written this uh, satire, Mac Flecknay. Uh, he was when Dryden wrote Absalom and Achitophel. He wrote a piece of work, The Medal, after. Uh, Absalom and Achitophel, and that was answered by in the form of a satire by Thomas Shadwell in Medal of John Bass. So, in order to avenge Dryden, wrote Mac Flecknay in 1682. Please remember, in order to avenge Shadwell, he wrote this satire. clear now this was a satirical poem and was based on uh, personal and literary terms uh, and here dryden has treated thomas shadwell with humorous contempt that means there is a disliking and he makes fun of to humorous contempt wahi hota hai na that he makes fun of and there is a lack of respect and uh, there is a disliking about someone right now shadwell is presented as the heir to the kingdom of poetic dullness uh, yahan pe jo shadwell hai he is representing as a heir to the kingdom of poetic dullness okay now there were other issues too general issues uh, and there was a disagreement disagreement between dryden and shadwell now shadwell being satirist satirized he uh, makes fun of shadwell uh, in this whole poem and he uh, has been satir satirized as the dullest son of this kingdom and uh, there was richard flecknay one of the other writers uh, he was another poet and was not liked by john dryden theek hai he also ridiculed about the fact that when shadwell's coronation will take place or when he is going to take oath on his coronation day uh, he will take an oath to maintain the dullness of kingdom right so he he is all um, he is making fun of and he is mocking at this he satirize at something right shadwell uh, was Uh, we should know about the fact that shadwell was fond of ben johnson so isme bhi john dryden ne unko satirize kiya hai and he says that johnson being a learned man and he being stupid and lacks common sense where dryden also points out and says that he was unable to satirize the people whom he aims in his satires right so this was all about mac flecknay mac flecknay ke jo points aapko yaad rakhne hain ki ye personal or literary satire hai kis pe based hai thomas shadwell mein inhone uh, mac flecknay kyun likhi thi because uh, dryden wrote a work a piece of work that is the medal and uh, it was in a form of a satire and then that was answered by thomas shadwell in the medal of john bass uh, in avenge of it he wrote mac flecknay ye baat yaad rakhiyega right then maine uh, ek brief note de diya hai is poetry ke bare mein that you want to know matlab kyunki uh, when you know about a poem it is good 
to know about its description right so these are important poem poems you have to remember these few important points now please i request you all to work hard as your net examination is nearby and other exam exams uh, that students are taking place so please work hard and go through these uh, go through these videos they are very important and if you work hard you can achieve to what you want so keep watching stay tuned meet you in my next class